Welcome back to Bayside News. This is it. The last week before winter break. It's four days. We can do it. Work hard the rest of the week, and then you can relax for a while. Spirit Week is here. Tomorrow is Twin Day. Find a friend or two or three and dress alike. Wednesday is the day to wear festive holiday clothes. And Thursday is grade level colors day. Fifth grade should wear red. Sixth grade should wear gray. Seventh grade should wear white. And eighth grade should wear black. In case you're wondering why there's no special day on Friday, it's because we don't have school. Yippee! That's right. Winter break starts Friday. Okay, it's time for some grade level updates. Hi, I'm Nola. And I'm Aurelia. In fifth grade science, we are building roller coasters using duct tape and pipe insulation. In Mr. Favis's music classes, we are taking short movie clips, deleting all of the music and sound effects, and recreating the scenes with our own sounds and music. We have the option of choosing a clip from Simpsons, Home Alone, or the movie Elf. Okay, you want to explain to us why this works? Yeah. Okay. So partly why this worked, when we did this at the beginning, we didn't have all of these right here. We only had one. So basically, it would just fall off straight away. But because we added these, um, it made it so we would it would so when it goes down at the beginning, it would straight up because of marble. It would go down this. It would just, this, fall, it would just down. fall down here. But because of this, it hits off this, and then it goes down <laughs> and through the tunnel. And the reason we added the tunnel is because um, without this, this makes it tighter, so it can, it can't go as far. Uh -huh. Because without this, it just go it goes right through because there's not enough because uh, there's a more acceleration without this. The Okay. I'm Molly. And I'm Mia. And in sixth grade ELA, we will be completing our personal narratives and we'll share them with one another this week. We have worked hard to try a variety of strategies in our writing, and our teachers say our narratives are amazing. In science, we had a big week last week with our Discovery World trip. Not only did we explore the museum, but we also got to do a chemical reactions lab. I'm Lana. And I'm Serena. In 7th grade ELA, we have finished our infographics and are working on crafting TED Talks to take on activist stance on our issues. In science, we're investigating renewable energy sources and preparing for the Unit 2 concept check. In 8th grade science, we're creating shields to protect a spacecraft from a meteoroid. Here's some examples. That time it broke a little bit of the wax paper, but then it still didn't pierce. We designed ours to get, to receive the uh, the screwdriver over a longer period of time, so that it would slow down. Like when the screwdriver came down, this was this was up straight. It would catch it kind, of, it would sort of catch it, while these popsicle sticks would fold in, so that if they collided, they wouldn't it wouldn't go past a certain point, or that it would go it would pierce through here but it'd still be able to catch it by the time it got down. And we had little pieces of paper as like kind of a baseline of what we want our line of protection or the closest protection to the, to the actual ship to be. Okay, and what happened the first time you did the test? It, it didn't pierce at all. It didn't, it didn't pierce the foil. And it just kind of like caught it and it bounced off. But the second time we did it, it, test two, it, it, pierced, it through. pierced through and put a little bit of hole. Okay, well, do you think you have to change anything for your design? Um, maybe add like a little bit of foam on the base or something, just, just in case it does break through, but... This is actually on it. We anticipated that it would... We, we thought we, the popsicle sticks would We thought break. the popsicle sticks would come together or they'd snap. Or they'd just sort they fall to the side or something. So did it work better than you thought? Yes. Yeah. Very much. Just so you know, we won't be recording an episode of Bayside News this week. That means there won't be a new episode the first week back of school in January. You'll be able to see the, our next episode on January 9th. Do you have a favorite holiday food? Here's Elliot asking that very question during passing time. Today we're gonna to be asking people, what's your favorite holiday food? Okay, what's your favorite holiday food? Um. 
Turkey. Uh, turkey. Um, cake. Christmas cookies. Favorite holiday food? Mashed potatoes. Uh, ham and I also like cake. Homemade pizza. Um, stuffing. Potato lockers. Matzo. Lasagna. What is your favorite holiday food? Ham. Do you guys know what a traveling trophy is? Well, it's a trophy that's passed from winner to winner as time goes on. Our Bayside PBIS has a traveling trophy, the donut. On Thursday at the assembly, the donut is going to be passed to the advisor with the most donuts in their box. Currently, Miss McGrath's homeroom is in the lead with four donuts. There will be a lot of spirit opportunities in the future for your homeroom to earn donuts. Maybe your homeroom will win the traveling trophy. Here's Mrs. McGrath with information about an upcoming PBIS project. Good morning, Bayside Middle School. So I am here today to just share with you another opportunity for your advisor group to earn some donuts for the bulletin board, okay? Um, this is an activity that your homeroom, your advisor group can begin anytime from now um, until the due date. Um, you wanna finish it by the Friday we come back from winter break. So I think the date is, let's see, January 6th. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is making gratitude mugs and here is my example. Okay, in your homeroom, you are going to get um, like a blank template of a mug and then you're gonna get some marshmallows. Your job is to think of things that you are thankful for in your life, okay? And you are going to put pictures of those things or write them in words on the marshmallows and then you are going to color and cut out your mug um, and glue your marshmallows all in there. And ultimately you're gonna come out with something like this, all right? Um, we all know that Bayside Middle School children can do things really, really well. So we are going to do our best to make our mugs look really nice, um, decorate them, use color, put our personality into them. Um, I chose to kind of map mine on construction paper so that I could hold my marshmallows in there really well, okay? Um, so how does this integrate into PBIS, okay? If your advisor group has at least 50% participation, so half of the kids in your advisor group give a completed mug to the teacher, um, you guys are going to get one donut for the board, okay? If 100% of your advisor group does a mug, now you get two donuts for the board, okay? That includes the teachers. We want teachers to do mugs too because there's lots of things that us um, as teachers, we have um, gratitude and are thankful for as well, okay? Um, once we have all of the advisor groups collected, these are gonna be displayed throughout the building, so that's another reason we want them to look nice. Um, but one last sort of reward um, to make this even more fun is that we will do a drawing for hot cocoa for advisor groups, okay? So if you have 100% participation, your homeroom name will go into a bucket and we'll have a drawing and we will bring you guys all um, a nice cup of hot cocoa on a cold January morning, okay? So let's go Bayside, let's get our gratitude mugs done. So happy, thanks guys. Netflix or Disney Plus, Summerfest or State Fair? We have some good questions this week on this or that. Welcome back to This or That. I'm here with Annika, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, are you an early bird or a night owl? A night owl. Okay, salsa or guacamole? Guac. Netflix or Disney Plus? Netflix. Beach or mountains? Mountains. Summerfest or state fair? Summerfest. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I'm here with Jack. Are you ready? Yeah. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Salsa or guacamole? Salsa. Netflix or Disney Plus? Netflix. Beach or mountain? Mountain. Summerfest or state fair? Stay fair. Dogs or cats? Dogs. I'm here with Miss McGrath. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. 
Early bird or night owl? Mm, early bird. Salsa or guacamole? Guac. Love guacamole. Netflix or Disney Plus? Mm. Right now, Hulu, but <laughs> probably Netflix. Okay. Beach or mountains? Beach. Summerfest or state fair? I really don't like both. They're so dirty. Um, Summerfest, main show only. Okay. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Dogs. Thank you. Hey, Bayside, we need your input about what you ask. Here's Lucia with the details. You already know that we are the Bayside Bulls, right? But did you know that our bull mascot doesn't even have a name? It's time to change that, and we need your help. The list of possible names has been narrowed down to four, and later this week, you're going to vote for your favorite at lunch. The four possible names are Archie, Reggie, Zeus, and Toro. Okay, Bayside, it's up to you to name our mascot. The winning name will be shared at the pep assembly on Thursday. And finally, here's the latest Bayside food review. Welcome back to this week's food review. Today we have different kinds of M&Ms. We have peanut butter, crunchy cookie, fudge brownie, and regular milk chocolate. One thing we notice is that they're all different sizes. Okay, so first we have the regular um, chocolate one. It's really good. Yeah, they're good. Next up we have the fudge brownie. I can't really taste the difference from the milk chocolate one. There's like a slight difference. Oh, oh the milk chocolate. It's more like, it tastes, this one tastes like a brownie. I just, I'm getting the hint right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, starting to taste more like a brownie. It yeah. tastes more like a brownie. At the end? Mm -hmm. And then we yeah. have crunchy cookie. Yeah. Um, this one's pretty good. And yeah. it was the smallest of all of them. I thought they'd be a little bit larger, but yeah. Um, they're really good. They yeah, they just taste regular. They're, they're, um, yeah, they're, they're much they're crunchier. much crunchier. Um, and next we have um the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. This is actually really good. As you bite into it, like you can actually, it's really. Oh, you creamy. can taste it pretty much instantly. I like it. It's better than the regular peanut M Ms. So for my ranking, the peanut butter or are in last place as fourth. The regular M and M's are in third place. These crunchy cookie M and M's are in second place. And these I love these the most. These um, fudge brownie M and M's. Um, I have a different opinion. I think that the peanut butter. No, I think that the fudge are the best, and then the peanut butter, and then the regular, and then the cookie. That's it for Bayside Food Review. Thanks for watching. <laughs> That's it for Bayside News. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great week and winter break, Bayside. <laughs>